they we made it to the state finals two years ago and won it, and it was a great year. Went 43 and 0, most wins in Arkansas history for any high school team. But we graduated pretty all that played on that group except for one. So it's a fresh group. So only this year's seniors have ever been to Hot Springs for the state finals. So getting this whole group, especially the younger ones, a chance to play in Hot Springs is what really makes it special. What has this program been like, especially before these seniors got here? Did they see this kind of winning ways? Uh, we've been quite successful the past, really past five years. About five years ago, we had three torn ACLs in the same season, and it was supposed to be our first really great year. And they did great for what we had, and people stepped up, but it was kind of hard when you have that many season-ending injuries. And those girls, two of them, one graduated, two came back for their next year, and we went on to make the Final Four and I think we were 37 and two that season. And then the whole five starting lineup, plus the next one on the bench all come back. But the two girls who tore their ACL, retore it that summer. And both came back after six months off. And that was our group that went 43 and 0 and won a state championship. So it was great for that. And then most of those graduated that year. And last year we had to start back over with only one or two pieces and they made the final four which was very awesome to replace. And our motto's always been, we don't rebuild, we replace. And we lost a really big player last year from that Final Four team who's top three all-time leading scorer in Arkansas. And she's playing at Harding University this year. And we lost her and replaced her with some other individuals and they have picked right back up and made it back to the finals, so. What is it about this team that's able to overcome this adversity? Uh, really just their dedication, the countless hours. What they do here in the gym and stuff is meaningless compared to what they do outside of regular practice. They all play on a travel team, spring and summer. They all do extra weight room uh, activities, whether it be here or in town with another trainer. Uh, just it's what they live for and they want to be that next group that keeps pushing the program to the next level. And, they do a great job and great leadership for the younger ones because then the younger ones see them do it and they want to step up. And They were once the younger ones, so now they get to be the older ones who set the example. Falling short last season, how much momentum does that have coming into this state final game? Uh, it means a lot. They, they look for reasons to be hungry. And last year we had a shot at the buzzer to make the finals and missed on that one and it was a great season and when you get that close to returning it makes it that much more important to step up and get back to hot springs so it meant a lot to them i want to know what is it like right now being in this community and having both of these teams heading to the state finals and then playing back to back oh it's great uh having the community support's awesome two years ago when we made the finals we had a huge gathering for in support group at hot springs Last year the girls fell short but the boys made it and you had the girls' parents all in full support. The boys' parents were there the year before for the girls and this year they all get to be there with both teams playing which makes it that much better. What should we expect the atmosphere to be like? Oh, it's going to be great. We, we get some crazy fans and in the girls' side we'll play Salem and they bring, us and Salem have the two best fan bases at the state tournament this year. Boys play CAC and I know they'll have a good crowd there too. So even though we have the first games of the state tournament in the morning, it's going to be a great atmosphere. What are y'all anticipating out of Salem? Uh, we've played them once this year already. It was a good game. They were last year's state champions and they returned the state MVP from that group and she's going to Arkansas Tech to play and she's a heck of a competitor. Uh, but they know us very well, we know them very well. So. Honestly, it's probably going to be a really ugly championship game because we know exactly what we're going to be doing to each other and just who can win an ugly game. Uh, we've grown like tremendously. It's weird like whenever the freshmen move up and it's crazy like how fast we become a family. Cause it's like they've been on your junior high team, yeah, but it's crazy because they feel like they've been on your team all along and it feels like I've played with them forever even though like it's my first year with some of them. And you say you guys don't rebuild, you replace. So, uh, especially when you guys have to overcome adversity, he was telling me about the ACL injuries yeah. and everything of those sorts. It doesn't seem to phase you guys one bit. What is it about this team that doesn't get bothered by that? A lot of times we have more than just five people who can score. Like, even coming off the bench, everybody can do something. Everybody contributes, whether they're cheering us on or on the floor with us. No matter what, they make us better. So, like, in practice, we play against each other a lot. So, say someone gets hurt. We always have someone who can step in because they've put in the same amount of work as everybody. You being a leader, how uh -huh. important is that to this team? 
leading is a big part of basketball. I've had like above me leaders and so it showed me like how I need to act and like the do's and don'ts of being a leader. So it's a big role like say someone's having a bad game and they really need someone to pick them up. It's like your job because you've been in their spot before. You've been a freshman, you've been a sophomore, a junior and you know the struggles of going through the game especially because we I've been in every aspect coming off the bench starting. I've been through all of it so I know every spot so I can kind of just pick them up whenever they need it and get them going again. How many seniors are on the team right now? We have four. Four? Okay, so quite a few. Yeah. Okay, so you guys have really been all through this together. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. So you guys played against Salem earlier this season. What did you see from them? What are you anticipating? Um, they're a great team. So we're going to have to play our hardest and they have great players all around. So we're just going to have to come out hard and never give up because they're, they're great. And so we just have to do what we have to do. And what does it mean to you guys to have both the boys team and you guys going out to the state finals? And I've come to find that this community really rallies behind basketball. Yeah, it's, it's very, very exciting because a lot of the boys on that team I grew up with. So it's cool that our season didn't end at different times that we're going in it together. And I get to cheer them on and they get to cheer me on. And I love to see both of our teams succeed. It just made me overwhelmed with joy whenever I saw both of us making it. And how convenient, too, you guys are going back yeah. to back, right? I know. that It makes it even better because we get to stay and come out of the locker room, and no matter what happens, we have something to look forward to because our boys are playing. Yeah, and I want to know, um, so you've been able to walk away with a victory but also fallen short. So I want to know, what is the momentum leading up to this game? It's going to be different, like, because we've always fallen short in the Final Four. So we're just going to go out with like, we don't, we want to win. But no matter what, it's, it's a great accomplishment whether you win or lose. So the mindset that the worst you can do is lose. So we, that we have nothing to lose when we're out there. We just have to go out and fight and play it like it's a regular game. Because if you think about it's a state championship, you'll get the jitters. But if you think about it as a regular game, then you've got it. How many times has this program walked away as state champs? Do you know? I don't know, but since I've been here, one. one okay. So I've, this will be my second time going to the state championship in four years. So, yeah, it's, it's something that a lot of people don't get to experience in their lifetime. So I'm glad that I'm, I get to experience it because it's. I wish that everybody got to because it's a unreal experience whenever you're out there. Oh, it's it's amazing. It's all over everywhere. Um, everyone's just celebrating it and. It's just a very big history. It's never happened before in Bergman history. I don't know if it's happened very many times just in history in general. And so the fact that we both get to go together, especially as a senior year, um, it's kind of just like a big go out with a bang. And everyone's just kind of, everyone's just proud and very much ra rallying around us and that they're here to support us whether we win or lose. So. And talking to Ruby, you guys are pretty lucky in the sense that you guys are returning again to the finals. Mm -hmm. So what was that experience like the first time around? So I've actually never been. Um, I just transferred from Valley Springs just this year. So um, I've never been, so this is my first time. But they got to go, and I think we watched it on the live stream, but um, a lot of our girls got to go and watch it in person. And I've heard it's been, it's like really amazing. So the fact that they've gotten to do it twice is really neat. And the fact that they get to do it twice is just pretty cool. So yeah. And then uh, you're playing against a Salem team that you've seen before. What are you anticipating out of them? Um, I think they're going to be really good in transition. Um, we have to, we're going to have to get back pretty much, uh, quite a bit. And then um, their defense is pretty good, so we're going to have to really work on that. And we just really need to lock down on defense. And I think, I think we can do it. Um, and then since you are newer to the team, what have you learned from these girls, especially about the kind of like the winning ways here? Oh, okay. Um, a lot of it is just like playing together and learning that like we are, we're all going to make mistakes and it's does like it's not going to be consistent at all who has a good game like i may play a bad one game and then some of the other girls are going to pick up my slack and just kind of everyone just kind of carrying their own weight and um, lots of hard work goes into that um, these girls spend a ton of hours in the gym um, and a lot that's really kind of impacted me knowing that other people do that and that is a big deal and they're also very active like in school and they're very much on getting like keeping high grades um, but yeah and then just as we win just to celebrate as a team and if we win as a team and then we're also going to lose as a team so just kind of keep each other keep your spirits lifted and it's gonna it's gonna turn out the way the way god wants it so.